Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on software development. In the previous episode, we have successfully created functionality to add new category, update and delete existing category. In this episode, uh, we will add a functionality to search categories based on ID, title and description. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial series. First of all, we'll need to start our project. So I'll go to my project folder that is any store and open my project solution that is any store solution and our project will open on Visual Studio. So this is our categories form and we have successfully added functionality to add, update and delete. Now we will add functionality to search categories based on ID, title and description. So in order to add uh, this functionality first of all we'll need to create a method uh, to search uh, the categories based on the keywords so let's go to the solution explorer and go to DAL and go to categories DAL and open the categories DAL by double clicking on it so categories DAL I will minimize this and after the delete category method we will create another method for search functionality so I'll create a reason reason method for search functionality and I will end the region end region so between this region we will create a method so it will be public data table and search will pass string variable string keywords so this is it uh, we have created a method of data table data type and we are passing variable string variable in this method so don't worry about the error this is this error is caused because this uh, requires a value to be returned so let's uh, create a database connection first for that we'll create sql connection for database connection so sql connection con is equals to new sql connection using my connection string this is the connection string we created in top and now we need to create a object for data table to hold the uh, data from database temporarily creating data table to hold the data from database temporary temporarily so data table dt is equals to new data table and I will return this so return dt so this solve the error uh, previously we have now between these two we will start our actual code to select uh, to search the categories so i'll start with try block so try and then catch here exception ex then we will display message if there are any exception errors so message box dot so ex dot um, e message and last one is finally so finally we will close the connection so connection dot close so this is it now we will write the excel functionality in our try block so first of all we we'll need to write the query to search the categories from database sql query to search categories from database so a string sql is equals to select asterisk from tbl underscore categories where id like 
percentage percentage and then we will pass keyword so uh, double colon and plus plus so keywords this is a keyword we passed earlier in our method this keyword will be here and another another condition will be or title like percentage percentage plus plus keywords keywords and another condition will be or description like percentage percentage and double code and plus plus so here will be keywords so this is it uh, this query this query will uh, get all the categories based on our keywords based on uh, id title and description now we need to create sql command to execute the query execute the query so sql command cmd is goes to new sql command using sql and connection so similarly we need to add sql data adapter to hold the data temporarily so getting data from database sql data adapter adapter is equals to new sql data adapter using cmd so sql data adapter has all the uh, categories from database now we need to pass this value to our data table so passing values from adapter to data table dt so adapter dot fail and dt before that we need to open database connection so open database connection so connection dot open so this is it guys we have successfully created a method to search categories uh, from our database based on id title and description let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and let's go to form categories and add a text change event for our search text box so select the search text box and go to properties and click on this thunder icon and go to text change event and just double click on it to create a text change event for search text box so i'll just double click on it so we have successfully created a uh, text change event for text search so here we will get the keywords first so a string keywords is equals to txt search dot text now based on these keywords we need to uh, display the uh, categories in our data grid view so let's filter the categories based on keywords so if keywords is not is equals to null else if keywords is null that means if we type anything in this text box then use search method to display categories else use select method to display all categories so what this means is if we type anything in uh, keyword this will use search method and display and filter the categories based on the keywords uh, whereas if we do not type anything in our search text box then it will simply use the select method and display all the categories so for this we need to create a data table 
data table dt is equals to dal dot search and we need to pass keywords here so this is it and in our data grid view we need to give the data source so dt dgb categories dot data source is equals to dt and similarly we will use data table dt is equals to dal dot select and we do not need to pass any variable here not source select i mean select here yes here is select and dgv categories dot data source is equals to dt so this is it we have successfully created a a button uh, text search text change event and added a functionality to search uh, categories based on id title and description let's press ctrl and s to save and let's run the project and check if the search functionality works perfectly or not i'll press and start and uh, let's log in that is admin admin and user type is admin login login successful let's go to category and uh, let's search i will type food first so this displays the categories that uh, see that is similar to f or d food or f only so i will type id that is one and this displays the id one and two this displays the id two so this is it guys we have successfully added functionality to search categories based on idol id title and description so if you like this video then don't forget to like and share on social networking site if you want to see more videos like this then don't forget to uh, subscribe and click on little bell icon and in the next video we will start our another important uh, module that is product module where we will be adding uh, new products updating and deleting existing products so see you soon bye bye